Okay, Vanessa, put on the safety glasses. See how you look. Oh, pretty nice. Have you used safety glasses in school? Nope. Well, you put on safety glasses when you're doing something that's potentially dangerous. And while we're not going to do anything really dangerous here, there is acid in this beaker, and you wouldn't want to splash it in your eyes. Yeah. Notice there, there are two uh, lead plates here and wires that are connected out here to these little clips. So touch each side of the little place where that light bulb is. Okay. Went on and then went off, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. That's because we haven't stored very many electrons and just enough of them came out to barely light the light bulb because we have what is known as a storage battery. Have you heard the bird storage battery? No, I haven't. Well, it's a lead acid battery in which you can charge it up and then get back the charge by uh, running uh, equipment like that light bulb. So let's charge it up. Take those two things and put them over here. The red one in the red hole. Okay. And the black one in the black hole, obviously. Yep. And then turn on the switch right there. Okay. Now watch what happens over here. Well, it's starting to bubble. You see how it's bubbling? Yeah. See, what we're doing is sending electricity through here and taking electrons from this lead plate, running it through the acid, and storing them on the other lead plate. So we're storing electrons, which is what electricity is, a bunch of electrons. Okay, turn it off. Now try testing the light bulb. Okay. Push down real hard. Make a good connection. There you go. The light bulb's lighting now. Yeah, now because we're electrons are flowing through the wire to light the bulb and then coming back here again. Now, you know that there's a battery in your car, right? You yeah. Have, you would have to charge the battery. Well, it's similar to this. We only had two plates over here, but in the car battery, we have a whole bunch of them. Look over here. See, here's a car battery taken apart. And the bled plates look like this. See? Yeah. But there are a whole bunch of them. Each one of these cells gives you two volts. So how many volts do we have all together? Well, we two, four, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve, twelve, twelve. volts. That's what a car does have in it. Okay, and then you put acid here and you charge it up just like we did our little one over there. But because we have so many more plates, we have many more electrons available at much greater charge. So here is one that's all charged up already. Here are wires coming around over to here to this thing. You remember how you touch the two little things on each side of the light bulb? Yeah. Touch those two screws. Okay. Whoa. Now this is what happens when you start the car. The battery is standing by. When you put your foot on the starter, why the electrons go in and start the car, or honk the horn if the car isn't running, or plug the radio. When you start the car, there's a generator or an alternator that charges up the battery. Oh, just like we did here. That's and interesting. The end result is you can use the energy from the battery like this. Oh.